Hello, let's continue reading the chapter 3 from the book TypeScript quickly. In this short video, I want to talk about static variables in the class and how they have a really important practical use. We will create a, we will implement a singleton design pattern. But first of all, let's talk about the static variables. Uh, they were introduced in JavaScript. JavaScript spec, actually ECMAScript spec ES6. And the point is that if a variable has a keyword static in front of it, this variable is shared between instances of the class. As you know, if you have a class, you can create one or more instances. You can create objects that represent this class. But static variables are th those that are shared between multiple instances. They don't belong to any particular instance. They are above and beyond, so to speak. First of all, let's take a look at the example. A very practical example. We want to program the gangsters. There may be the robbery, bank robbery. Stay calm, it's a robbery, right? So we have a class gangster and they are on a mission to rob the bank and they have certain uh, number of bullets together and they need to know the moment when all of them are out of the bullets not just one you don't want to say that each person has a hundred bullets for example or ten bullets we want to know the total for the group at the at any given time so i created a class gangsta and I have this variable total bullets. Let's say they have total 100 bullets. And I put the, the qualifier static in front of this property of the class, which means what? Even if you have two gangsters or three gangsters instances, right? Uh, they all will see one and only variable total bullets. And if any of those should, the number of bullets should decrease one and only place the source, the single source of truth, so to speak. And this class has a method should. This method is not static. Every person, every instance can should, right? Every gunsink can should. And whenever somebody is invoked as a method should, we want to decrement the total bullets by one. And we print it. So what do we do? In this case, I create two instances of the gangster, G1, and then this guy shoots, and then G2, and then this guy shoots. Since we invoke this method two times, even though they are on different instances, this method should, we have the variable total bullets as static. So each shoot, regardless of which instance it was used on, will affect this variable. So technically, uh, after running this example, I would expect that it'll print, after this, it'll print the total bullets or bullets left, 99, after this guy, 98. And let's see if that's the case. Here's an example that we just discussed. And uh, if I will run it, it prints as expected, bullets left 99 and then 98. So there is a central place which is shared by instances. And you can say, how good is your example? I'm not programming robberies, right? So what is any other practical use of your static variables? And the super practical use is implementation of a singleton design pattern. In general, what are the design patterns? Software design patterns are uh, reusable common solution for reoccurring problems. Something that you need to do from in this project, in that project, regardless of what language, programming language do you use. And these, mm, the main like 23 uh, design patterns were published and described by the by four a respected person gang of four and this is a book I don't know if you have it I bought it 20 years ago I never read it 
excellent book for people with sleep disorder. But, but, uh, the design pattern shouldn't be boring or anything. So let's take a look at one of them, the singleton design pattern. What it can be used for. Uh, in many cases, you need, in, you need a place in your app that every other module or maybe class or maybe a function can go to and they are 100% sure that this object is the only object, the only instance in the entire app, a singleton, a single object. So we need to somehow make sure that a certain object, maybe you have a class and you want to instantiate it, right? But we want to make sure that the app can instantiate it only once. So you, nobody can create two, single, two instances of, the, of this class. In this case, we can use it as a, as a certain storage. Uh, uh, for example, a module A or a class A from the app can put something in there. Class B can get something from there and all know that this is the only place where people can put stuff and get stuff from. Singleton. So how, do you, how, do, how static variables will help us in doing this? First of all, if we want to make sure that you can create only one instance of the class, it means that you have to hide or stop people from using a constructor of the class. Say you have a class person and it has a constructor, for example, or it doesn't have a constructor. If you will say new person, the keyword new means create a new instance. The keyword new means uh, invoke a constructor of a class. Either you create a constructor or it's a default constructor, but there should be some constructor. So we want to make sure that nobody can use the new operator with your class. All right, so if nobody can use a new operator from with your class, how you can create even one instance of it. And this is what we will talk about. This is where the static keyword helps. Let's say I have a class app state that represents some state of the application. And maybe uh, in there, there is a useful variable counter. I want to make sure that this singleton, uh, everybody will go to the singleton if they need this counter. So what, do, what can we do? We can create a static variable instance ref. I call it instance ref, you can call it anything you want. This static uh, variable will represent one and only instance of our class up state, one instance. Now, if we, will, if we want to stop people from using new operator, we will use the keyword private for the constructor. If I created a private constructor for the class, it means it can be used only from inside the class, from the code within the class. I cannot use it from outside of the class. For example, I cannot do something like this outside of the class. It'll give me an error. What are you doing? You said that the constructor is private. You can't access it. All right. If I cannot use new, how do I get a new a one and only instance of the of this class? What do I do? I create. I use TypeScript, by the way, but it's pretty much the same idea. I've been using this in other languages as well. So I create a static method called get instance. Why static? Because I want to use it on the class without having to instantiate the class, right? So static variables are belong to the class and you say class name dot in a method, a static method or class name dot static uh, property. Not the instance, but the class name. So what do I do in there? In there, I check see app state dot instance ref. I, this is how we access uh, static variables. I, I want to check. Is there instance already there? Maybe somebody already invoked this method get instance before. If it's undefined, meaning I'm the very first guy who wants to create this instance, this method will instantiate this class. See, within the class, I can use new 
even though the, the constructor is private, because I'm sitting inside the class. So only once this line, which is marked with, the, with five, will be executed. Next time, if somebody will come and say, get instance, they will check, is this variable undefined? Point is undefined, reference variable? No, second time it's already, it's, it's going to point at the, the existing instance of the class. In that case, it'll not create a new instance, but it'll just return the existing one. That's it. Not rocket science. Now let's see, what do I do? I, in this, to illustrate it, I create one, uh, I uh, invoke get instance once, then I get invoke get instance two, and I want to prove you that these both variables, upstate one and upstate two, point at the one and only instance. So let's see, what do I do? I say upstate one counter plus plus, increment by one. Again, increment by one. Now I go through a different mm, instance, upstate two, increment by one, increment by one. And at the end, I'm printing uh, the value of the counter using upstate one as a variable to access this singleton object. And then I do uh, uh, upstate two to access this uh, singleton. Let's see, uh, uh, let's see how this, how this is going to work. So this is the code that I just showed you on the, in the chapter, and I expect it to print four. Any of these lines should print four, because we did increment four times on one and only instance of the object app state. If I will run this example, it'll print four and four. See, four and four as expected. So what I just showed you, I showed you how to use the static variable to create one and only instance of the object. Whenever you will be programming, say for web, for example, web apps using TypeScript or maybe JavaScript, you will be most likely going to be using one of these popular frameworks like Angular maybe or React or Vue. And um, then you will start reading books and documentation and people say you need to implement application state properly. And this is a framework for you. So uh, the React guys will use uh, what? Uh, Redux library, Angular people will use NGRX or something else. Besides the point, but these libraries, they have the same idea. There is some store and they call it a single source of truth, one instance. And then if something happens on the app, the user hits the button on the UI, user places orders and stuff, they say that only in the store the state should change, right? And, and this store should be the only place. When you hear something like the only place, you should think of a singleton. And if you know how to implement a singleton design pattern, more, the chances are that if your app is not super duper complicated, you don't need to use all these fancy frameworks for maintaining app state. You can implement singleton and uh, deal with it this way. All right. So uh, this concludes lesson number, what was it, 13, I guess? Anyway, it's about static variables and a singleton design pattern. Thank you for watching.